Hello, hello, my beautiful Geminis. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of January the 23rd to the 29th, 2023. I'm using a different format, a different platform here, a different camera and setup. Please go to my community part of my YouTube channel and I've explained everything there. The bottom line is my computer hard drive went down terrible retrograde, and it will be gone for a period of time. So I needed to compromise, and thank goodness the universe is on my side, and I'm able to do these videos in a, you know in an expedient way um, on my iPhone. So please bear with me while I'm going through this retrograde situation, but I will be getting my computer back, and you will be able to see with my Logitech camera things much better. <clears throat> okay, starting off, my beautiful, beautiful Geminis, my twins, the first of your oracle messages and your energy cards is you've got perfect setting. So some of you might be, um, you know, trying to pick a perfect place to have some sort of an event uh, or setting yourself up, right, that you have the perfect setting. Often when we do this, every all the chips seem to fall in place. All the puzzle pieces seem to fit. So you may be, um, you know, trying to prepare yourself for some sort of an event where you're having to pick a venue, you're having to pick a platform, you're having to pick a location. And by doing so, I think you'll feel so much more secure. If you have a goal or a vision, be sure to provide, <clears throat> excuse me, the right surroundings for that dream to be able to flourish. Positive self-talk, affirmation, being kind to yourself, celebrating your personal talents and successes. All of these create fertile soil for your dreams to take root and grow. Sometimes when you push too hard, it can hinder the harmonious unfolding of your journey. Trust the process. Gemini's relax and allow nature to take its course. Belief and, and positive support is needed and to accomplish your goals, you need to do that. So picking the perfect timing, believing that things are going to work out, manifesting what you want and walking that line of positive thinking. Now, your next card you have is interesting and you've got chop wood. Well, <clears throat> basically chop wood is all about doing uh, mundane things, um, you know, being able to continue moving forward. Uh, doing your daily chores. Uh, this is all about <clears throat> staying focused on actually the little things here. Uh, as much as we might not like them, uh, they may not be that detailed, but we need to do that. It's about being grounded in every experience <clears throat> we have right now. And there are times when the big dream is meant to be lie dormant. There may be some unfinished work that you have to do. You may have to deal with regular uh, jobs and duties and uh, you know chores that you have, unfinished work. You have to complete them before you can actually go after that big goal. So um, just pay attention to the simple chores in your life right now. Consider you know what it is you need to do and step up and do them. N nothing is as important right now than just doing what you need to do, the day-to-day -day stuff. Let your heart Remember that not everything has to be hard won, okay, passionate or even obviously meaningful. Relationships and friendships go through sort of these lulls too. When the everyday tasks are at the center of awareness, that is a perfect time now to just get things done. So this is all about that. Go after what it is you want, but in the meantime, you have to clear away things in order to move on to new things, okay? Coming in next. This is interesting because if you notice... Right here, this is your Oliver Energy card and the bottom of the deck, and that is the Seven of Swords. And look what you got, the Vulture. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. So you may be feeling as though someone is riding on your coattails of success. They may not have the same agenda that you do, or they have an agenda of their own that might be a bit selfish. Uh, they could be self-centered, and they're making you feel uh, a little bit less worthy, um, and they're bringing you down. Remember, misery loves company. Don't allow yourself to get caught up in anybody else's um, drama. It's theirs to own. They need to do that, and they need to deal with that. Don't allow yourself to get anxious or depressed over other people's problems, okay? You may feel as though they're not on your in your end of the ring, or they're not on your side of the story, that's okay. You don't need their opinion to bring you down. So be careful. With the Seven of Swords coming in, that is the card of the liar, the cheater, uh, the person who, um, who who is skulking behind you, trying to steal something from you. Um, this is the card of, uh, you know, of, of, of dishonesty, right? Um, and disillusionment um, and despair and all of those things. But I do think that you, you're onto this person. 
Gemini, you're so uh, intuitive. You have this ability to be able to have that insight to figure things out. And I think you know who this person is. And you and you know, you're making that decision to walk away from it. The light's going to shine and they're going to get caught. This is a card of deception and they will get caught at the end of the day. Now, I want you to pay attention to those warning signs. Uh, you know, if you get those gut feelings, if you feel this within yourself, listen to that little inner voice of reason so that you can tap into this. Remove yourself from any negative or toxic relationships or energy around you that could be bringing you down making you feel anxious at this time you don't need to do that and you don't need to bring on other people's drama now in your first row could be uh you know past tense energy it could be the beginning of the week or you know coming in behind you you've got the beautiful king of pentacles you've got that emperor and you've got the knight of wands so you're going to be acting on something very quickly and it could be you stepping up to responsibility here um, you might be hearing about something to do with business or money. It's going to come in all of a sudden when you least expect it. And I think it's going to put you in the seat of power. The emperor, he's in charge of everything. He's capable, he's logical, and he's organized. This could be a father figure as well. Uh, somebody who you look up to or the powers that be. Someone of wisdom that you do pay attention to. I always take it that you're stepping up into the seat of power. You now have the, uh, the confidence now to go after what you want. And maybe this situation had to do with uh, feeling secure financially. Something could come in very quickly, which could have to do with that for some of you or not. Um, but the Knight of Wands is fast moving action. And this is like you can't procrastinate. Whatever comes in, it's almost like, oh my gosh, I have to go there now. I have to sign now. I have to do this now. I have to get on this. I can't procrastinate about it. Um, you could be asked to step up and sign some legal documents. Maybe some of you are being subpoenaed. You might have to go to court for something. Uh, you know. But for others, I do think this is just fast moving action coming in that you're going to have to act on. But but take caution. Don't do anything quickly. You have to go and deal with it. Doesn't mean you have to make the first, uh, you have to, you have to, um, you know, sign the first offer or anything. Now, this could also be somebody coming in, uh, you know, who is, uh, who, you know, who's coming in that possibly uh, want is a fire sign that possibly wants to have a relationship with you. And it can be a hot and heavy love affair for some of you as well. But I always call this particular Knight of Wands the player. Uh, loves to make an appearance, comes in really fast, hot and heavy, you know, kind of like the peacock, but then turns around, gets what he wants, and he goes out the door. Um, take from take it take what you want from that I do think the king of pentacles is saying you're going to have more confidence now you're going to have the resources now to go after what you want and that gives you the confidence to do it king of pentacles is a Midas touch this is a card that says you, you're going to you could you're going to land on your feet everything is going to come up roses and the choices and decisions that you're making in this particular time span uh, you need to go through those doors of opportunity and hold your head high now others you could be going to lending and loaning corporations uh, and banks and things like that um, I do think you'll have success if you're trying to acquire a, a loan of some sort for something um, I do think that there will be it'll be approved and I think you'll be okay there and receiving what you want you know you definitely are going to feel as though you're in touch with your own self your own emotions and being in control of having that confidence in the seat of power my friends doing very well wow Okay, coming in in the center position, Gemini, or the energy you're feeling now, or the middle of the week, you have the strength card, the five of cups, and the ten of cups. Ooh, 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 I like it. Okay, five of cups, worrying, stressing, uh, getting up in your head about thinking about the past, you know, reminiscing, this is crying over spilt milk. What is done is done. We have to wipe the slate clean. We have to realize there's going to be doors of opportunity here that will open up for us to go through so that you can move forward in a positive direction. Let go of this feeling. Okay. Don't sit there because you're only going to drag yourself down into that rut by thinking of the negative situations and the disappointments. There is a prize here, right? Think about the prize at the end of this path. Go after it. Don't be afraid to because you're going to get it. Ten of Cups is coming in. You know, it's it's beautiful. There is a pot of gold waiting for you at the end of this rainbow. And you might be receiving it here from this King of Pentacles. Okay, somebody coming in here. Maybe an earth sign uh, coming in. Um, but definitely you're going to be able to move forward in, in a progressive and positive direction. This is peace and harmony. This is happy ever after. Both in the material part of your life and also in relationships. Family relationships. Being harmonious and peaceful again. Strength card comes in, and this is about you being careful with your emotions, 
Okay. Um, I do think you're going to be in control of it though. The strength card says you have the ability and the, uh, the stamina to be stronger than you truly believe you are. And sometimes strength comes in the form of restraint. That's how I look at this card, because you may have to take a breath, step back, look at a situation completely. Okay. Not jump to conclusions in the heat of the moment and roar like the lion and then regret. Okay. Look at the situation with kindness, understanding, compassion, and maybe even forgiveness if you're dealing with opposing energy. Because at the end of the day, the ace in your pocket to win any opposing energy coming at you is being able to catch more bees with honey than you ever will with vinegar. Keep in mind, you've got that beautiful ten of cups coming in, and that's your goal. You want to go for it. And you'll get it. According to this, according to this reading, it's going to be good. Now, coming in towards you, possibly future energy or the end of the week, you have the card of the chariot and you have the star and you have the justice card. Well, things are going to be waved in your favor. Justice card says, guess what? If you're dealing with a legal issue, there were pa there's papers that had to be signed, settlements of anything like that. It's going to be waved in your favor. I think finally you're going to see the leveling out here of, you know, fair and judicial action being taken place. The chariot says you come out a winner. You're the champion. You went after something and you thought it was a big risk and you took it, but you went into it with the confidence of the emperor and in your heart of hearts, because of that, you come out a champion. You win. You need to commend yourself because you're going to get recognized for something here. And you need to pat yourself on the back. And all because you got yourself out there. You showcase yourself with a star. You're able to see light at the end of the tunnel. And now you've got a clear sight line to go after what you want. The star is 17. 7 and 1 is 8. 8 is a very powerful number and often has to do with money. So I do believe you showcased yourself. You put yourself out there. You, you went after what you want that you deserved. And at the end of the day, you come out ahead. If it's illegal, situation a settlement some sort of money of some sort this is very it's probably going to work out absolutely in your favor and it's going to be waived in your favor so this is beautiful wow 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 my beautiful gemini's this is your reading for this week and i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to always know i send you lots of love and many blessings and i'll see you soon